Ryan, it's been 59 races since you had the chance to be here in Victory Lane celebrating. What does it mean to get the job done here at Charlotte Motor Speedway tonight? Yeah, just, uh, you know, nice to put a good night together and, um, you know, be able to run a front all night, you know, get good restarts at the end, you know, really kind of achieve what we wanted to. So um, it's been a while, you know, it's been a while since I've been here. Um, so that part's always nice to, you know, get back and you always, you know, you never know, hey, can I, you know, still do this, right? Can I, can I compete at the level to win races? And, um, you know, everyone at 12 Group has done a good job of not really focusing on that. You know, they just focused on trying to go win every weekend, no matter what, and, and put our heads down and um, did that tonight. So this is super cool. Always cool to win the 600. Uh, came here watching this race growing up with my dad. Uh, so it's awesome to be in victory lane and to have my parents here too. That's even better. Uh, obviously the first crown jewel of your career. What does it mean to add this to the resume? Yeah, it's nice to check this one off. Um, you know, I've, I've wanted it obviously for a long time, those three crown jewel races and been close to Daytona. Um, honestly, I haven't really even been close here. I, you know, I haven't really been in contention to win this series, contention to win this race, I don't think before. Um, so it was, it was nice to come out tonight and, and have great speed all night and run up front and adjust with the racetrack as we needed to. So uh, yeah, I'd like to fill the rest of the two out. That'd be really cool. Is it hard to have patience? Obviously, you know, this is the longest race of the season, but when you're leading like that or you're battling William Byron for the lead and you have all those cautions there, one right after the other, is it hard to stay calm? Is it hard to stay patient? Um, a little bit. Um, you know, you don't want to see caution sometimes unless you're kind of in the back, right? And then you can try to get spots on restarts. I thought our car was good enough. We just needed to run. You know, we just needed to get going. And, and I felt confident in getting by William if I was second, he was first. I thought I was a little bit better than him all night. Um, and I really just wanted to line up next to him. You know, if I could line up on the front row with him, I pulled off that pass into three, like four times, five times already through the night, through the day. So uh, all I wanted was kind of a shot at it. And then fortunately we were able to get the lead on the restart and then I could kind of control the race and choose my lane and, uh, and be able to drive away. So yeah, that was a big moment. It's fun racing with William, um, for sure. He and I are good buddies and, um, but it is hard to stay focused. And, uh, but that's the name of the game. Big weekend for Team Penske, Indy 500, Joseph Newgarden gets it done. You get the Coke 600 done. First time that's ever happened for Team Penske. So what does it mean to be a part of that history and, and to get that job done for Roger Penske? Yeah, that's awesome. You know, I mean, everyone obviously knows the goal when we watched the 500 yesterday and, and Joseph winning and we're like, all right, well, we have a goal <laughs> whenever we get this race in. And and that's so cool. You know, I was super, super happy for not only Joseph, but Roger and, and all those guys who work really hard at that thing uh, on the Indy side, you know, Getting 19 is no easy easy task for them, and um, you know you want to add to the heritage of, of Roger's name. And uh, gosh, that's so cool to sweep the weekend with the 500. I cannot wait. It is going to be the biggest party in Team Penske this week with the Indy 500 and the 600 under their belt. That's so cool. So I can't wait to see everyone back at the race shop tomorrow, just because they make it happen. And uh, what a cool week it's going to be. Absolutely. Well, you enjoy celebrating that party, but also the party you're probably going to have tonight. <laughs> I look forward to it. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan.